G'day, that's Slot Car Guy here, and welcome back to the delivery unboxing, and a massive thank you to Armchair Race who have sent me this box of goodies to show you today. I have three slot cars in here, and I've also received a gift from another YouTuber to show you, made by him, and I have some news on a slotted car that's coming that I think us Australians will be very, very excited for. What car is that? We'll stick around, and I'll tell you during the video, but let's unbox what Armchair Racer has sent me today. So welcome back to the slot car video unboxing. Yes, another delivery, but this week has been huge for deliveries because I am in Melbourne, Australia, and we have just come out of lockdown, and our post, which is Australia Post, have been either hoarding the items and sending them at once, or they've just been coming at random times. And of course, for me, everything came this week. Uh, this latest box has been sent by Armchair Racer, so I do appreciate your support, guys, and it came very, very quick. And there's a couple of surprises in there. I did order a car from them, which I knew was in there. I did purchase that from Armchair Racer, so please support your local. The other two were definitely surprises to show you guys, and one of the brands, and I'm looking at them because they're down here, is one of my favorite brands, so I cannot wait to review a car that I don't already have from them. And I did receive an item from a YouTuber in New Zealand to review for you guys and show you guys, and it's quite a cool little device. And I received a quirky little slot car that I'm going to do some investigation on to see what it really is, but when I do show you, if you do know what it is, let me know, but I'll, I will have a guess. So let's dive right into it. What is this item I've received from a YouTuber in New Zealand? Well, his name is Rod Forder, and I hope I'm saying that correct, Rod, and I will link his YouTube video in my descriptions and hopefully those links work because I've been told they haven't and this little device appears to be a 3d printed slot car level device and what this would do is it will help you set up the car knowing where all the weight is being distributed and of course there's a level bubble on the front on the front. I do have instructions to do a proper review on it, so I will in, in the future, but I think that's quite cool because if you are racing and getting serious, you do want to know where your weight is on the car. And if I am getting that wrong, wrong Rob, please hit the comments or hit the comments, Rob, and let us know exactly what this does. So really cool, 3D printing. I did say it's the future and it's another cool des device that someone has made. So thank you, Rod Fodder. I hope I'm saying that correct, mate, and I will link your video in. Let's move on to this quirky little slot car I received, and I do like quirky. If you do watch the channel, you know I review a lot of weird, and sometimes I waste my money on wonderful stuff. And this is, I believe, a Marx, M-A-R-X, it may be, and there's another brand that slipped my mind, but if you do know what this is, please let me know, uh, and I will look into what it is. If you flip it up upside down, you will see it's quite unique, because it's got two little locator pins, and of course, some brushes. Uh, I don't think it's gonna run very well on my track because they are very, very short. And of course, the tires are very hard, but I do like it. It's unique, it looks cheap and nasty, but let me know. I think it's a Marx, M-A-R-X. I'm not too sure, but please let me know. So there is the two little special items I received. And thank you, Rod, for the um, level device. But let's move into what slot cars I received. And this is a bit of an oldie, and I do like oldies. It is Ravel. And it is a March 83G, the Red Lobster Collector's Edition, one of 3,000. And of course, it's a 132 slot car. And we'll quickly have a look, and I will do a review on this in the future. I do like different stuff. And of course, I love packaging. And take a look at that. I don't want to flip it up too high, because I will lose it. But there it is sitting in its box. Good looking car, and I will do a review in the future on that. But Armchair have lent that to me to show them, because they do have their own collection, so I do appreciate when they send me items that I can re review and send back. So thank you guys, beautiful looking box. I will do a full review in the future. What is next? Well, this is probably one of my favorite brands because I do have a car of theirs that I, every time I want to go for a quick fly around my track, that's probably one of the cars I pick up the most, but this is another one of their cars. And of course, Pioneer, I absolutely love them. I love their box art. Yes, it's a crystal case, but I love their sleeves. They are incredible. And this is the, and I didn't read the front, is the Chevy Cam Camaro in beautiful orange. It looks incredible. Now, of course, you Americans will love this. I love the, the American muscle cars, but I really do love Pioneer. And of course, I've got one of their Legend Series, which is by far one of my favorite cars. So I cannot wait to review this, and I definitely will, and see how this goes around my track. So thank you, Armchair Racer. They did send that to me for a re review, and I will do that. Very excited, but what is the car that I purchased? Now, this isn't gonna be anything new because everyone has already probably got one and reviewed it, but I'm a huge JDM fan. I'm a massive Slotted fan, of course. The Nissan Skyline GDR R32, number one Bathurst 1992 winning car, or Bathurst 1000, in the Winfield colors. And of course, this isn't a new car, and if you are watching, you've probably already seen it. 
but I've been hanging to get this and of course I had to order it myself. But what is this car that may be released by Slot It? Well, if you love GDRs, they are releasing the 1991 Scaife and Richards winning Bathurst Cup of 1991. I will put a picture up, it's the red, white and blue, which is very exciting for me because I am Australian, that's an Australian racing car of its time and it is a 1991 Bathurst winner. So here is the car that they will be making. So if you are an Aussie, please check out your local and order it. And of course, Armchair Race will be getting it and it's made by Slot It, so you know it's gonna be a very, very good car. I don't have a release date yet, but I have been sitting on that information for a couple of days now and I wanna release it today. So you will jump on the net and you'll probably see it's gonna be released uh, that information during the day or night, but I could not wait to share it. And I absolutely love that car because the red, white, and blue looks incredible. And of course, here it is. It looks absolutely stunning. So there we go. A, another quick unboxing. I do like the weird and wonderful. Thank you, Rod. I will be having a look at this, mate. I think this is incredible. And I will learn how to use that properly. And thank you, Armchair Racer, for sending another unique item for me to review once I get around to all the other ones. But as always, at that slot car guide, Instagram and YouTube. And if you do want this, hopefully soon to be released, 1991 Nissan Skyline GDR, red, white and blue, Scaife and Richard's car, well, keep your eyes peeled and obviously pre-order when you can. But as always, be safe, take care, ciao. Know that they ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Know that they ride or die, I keep boys by my seat.